Hello. I want to tell you about an artist today um, who was a cartoonist um, back in like the 1920s. Um, he used to make cartoons for the newspaper. And I don't even know if you guys have seen this, but uh, newspapers, when they're printed, have a whole page of like funny um, cartoons and comics in them. So he used to make cart comics for the newspaper and um, they were inventions. So he would invent a machine to do like the easiest thing, like open a bottle or wipe your mouth with a napkin. Um, and they were just really funny and crazy. So let's look at some of these um, cartoons. Okay, let's look at this Rube Goldberg comic. So here is his invention um, to open a bottle of beer without an opener. So um, if you look at letter A, first you get a candle and burn through the string. And then letter B, a ball falls down the chute and hits the hammer, letter D, which then sets off this, this um, BB gun, which then shoots a BB into the pipe, which then releases water onto the flower, which grows up to letter I, the spring, which then pushes down on this thing, which then causes the, the string to pull the shelf and tip over and turn on this little toy whose arm then cranks the old fashioned record player. And on the record, there's a woman's voice saying, good evening, beer. And the bottle being very polite, naturally takes off its hat. And there you are. Here's another one. Um, this invention is for opening a can. So um, first you go outside and you call your own phone. And that will wake up your maid because she'll think it's the alarm clock. And um, she'll stretch and she'll pull this lever which drops a ball into the net which um, hits the golf club, hits, this, hits a golf ball. Then it hits this can of milk, letter H, and the milk pours into this glass, letter I, and then it gets heavy and it pulls the switch of the radio, which starts playing. Well, the music makes letter K, these um, dancing mice start to dance. And then they turn this thing um, and they scratch the tail of the pet dragon. Well, the pet dragon then um, breathes some fire out and it ignites due to this can of gas over here and the top of the can just burns right off. So those are funny, right? Those are some crazy machines. Um, and now I'm gonna show you a clip from a movie called Pee-wee's Big Adventure. And there's this character named Pee-wee Herman and he likes really fun stuff. And um, he has a huge machine that makes breakfast for him. So let's look at it.
<laughs> Good morning, Pee Wee. Good morning, Mr. Breakfast. <laughs> Can I have some Mr. Tea cereal? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, pity the poor fool. Don't eat my cereal. <laughs> So what we need to do first is to think of like a simple task that needs to be done, like turning off a light switch or frying an egg or wiping your mouth with a napkin. Um, something that really takes like two seconds to do is really easy. Something really simple like that. And then let's think of a really complicated impractical crazy machine to do that task because that's what he did right it's like mm, you could just take the bottle opener and open the bottle or you could build this huge thing and then it takes a whole day to open the bottle that's just silly right but it's fun um so the way these machines work is called a chain reaction so one thing happens which causes another thing to happen which causes another thing to happen, which causes another thing to happen, which then causes the light switch to turn off, right? So um, so I'll show you mine, for example, okay. Here's mine. So uh, first someone opens the door and then the door is connected to this photograph of a fox and that flips the photograph up and shows it to this chicken and the chicken gets really scared and she jumps up and knocks her head on this shelf, which then spills water onto this cactus, which slowly, slowly grows until it hits this spring, with bumps this thing, which um, pulls this shelf down, which on which was a ball. So the ball falls off the shelf, falls down and breaks this stool. When the stool goes flying and breaks, it pulls on this string, which then pulls the shade down. So. You gotta wait a while for the shade to go down. You have to wait, you know, first you have to build all this stuff and then you're gonna have to wait for this cactus to grow and all this stuff to happen. But your shade's gonna come down eventually. It might be mm, three years later, but. So those are kind of like silly chain reactions. So kind of like a domino effect, like each one knocks another one over. So um, I want you to first think of a, a simple task that you need done, you might need done. And then think of a really complicated, um, impractical, crazy machine that you could build to get that simple task done. And if you really can't, if you're having a hard time thinking of a simple task, then I want you to just do um, the light switch. Just think of a machine that turns off a light switch. Okay, go ahead and get started. <laughs> Si me quieres, dímelo. Si me quieres, dímelo. Si me adoras, dímelo. Si te gustó, dímelo. Si me adoras, dímelo. Si me odias, si me odias, si me odias, dímelo. Si me odias, si me odias, si me odias, dímelo. 
Me desprecias, dímelo No me quieres, dímelo Me aborreces, dímelo No te gustó, dímelo ¡Uepa! Thank you. 